Hello, this is Rick, uh, also known as Black Rifle. And we're here to talk about the Leatherwood scope this morning. It's a uh, 4 to 16 by 44. Uh, this is a nice scope. Um, I have it mounted on my 300 blackout. I can't see pain. I think this uh, sells for like $78 on sportsmansguide.com. Uh, I think I paid $119 when they first came out with it. I've had this uh, maybe a little over a year uh, on my 300 blackout. And 300 blackout, that's a nice beefy round. 20 grain bullet uh, goes down range at about uh, 990 feet per second, 980. Uh, excellent on the uh, hogs, and if you put a suppressor on your rifle, uh, you won't hear it uh, too loud. You won't hear the loud report. You hear it, but you don't. Uh, it's not as loud. Anyway, uh, the 4 to 16 by uh, 44 scope, you have uh, your yards all the way out to, from 20 yards all the way out to infinity, a thousand yards or more, which uh, the uh, 300 blackout won't do. Then you have uh, one click MOA. Uh, one click uh, equals a quarter MOA at a hundred yards and uh, you have your elevation and deflection and your windage your left and right uh, very nice scope it zooms to uh, 16 power, so you know you go out to 16 power. Hilux uh, Corporation uh, is making a Leatherwood, or Leatherwood makes Hilux. I'm not sure which. But anyway, uh, that's the uh, that's the scope uh, in a nutshell. Now we'll go over with a tabletop review of, of the scope. The Leatherwood uh, Hilux scope is a uh, fully uh, coated optic for clarity. They're nitrogen purged, 100% fog proof protection, 100% uh, shock proof. You got the hand adjustable turrets. Uh, the precise quarter inch MOA for windage and elevation. You got uh, 40 MOA for both windage and elevation, you need a 30 millimeter tube. So that gathers uh, quite a bit of light as opposed to a one inch tube. You know, a 30 millimeter tube is uh, the way to go. Uh, I think one inch is 25 millimeters, so you get four millimeter more in the, in the tube there. Um, The MOA adjustments and brightness are just uh, just increased, uh, magnified uh, using this. The field of view at 100 yards is 11.8 inches at uh, 8 power and 2.6 inches at 32 power. It's got a mill dot bullet drop compensating reticle. So on on the uh, left side it's uh, for uh, uh, magnum calibers and standard calibers on the right 
is, is how it goes uh, looking in the, in the uh, scope. Anyway, that's it on the scope there. Uh, for the price, you can't beat it. Why spend uh, that money that you work so hard for on a thousand dollar scope when you could do the same job with the uh, seventy four dollar scope? You know, I don't understand people. I have a few of the scopes. I always thought uh, because you pay more, they're, they're better quality. Well, that's not true. Um, they might be a little brighter, a little better optic in there, but as far as taking out to the woods and doing the things I do with this, hunting mainly uh, from a blind, uh, you know, this, this is uh, the scope to go with. It come with this, uh, this scope reticle. This is good in a way because uh, if it's raining, uh, you cover your optics and you can look through your uh, scope covers as opposed to having to move to use your flip-up covers. But I personally p prefer flip-up covers. But this is how the scope comes. Uh, I have the uh, flip-up covers in the house. Anyway, uh, that's my rifle there. Uh, as you can see, it has a green dot, uh, a green laser uh, designator on it, and uh, I'll tell you, it works just fine. I really enjoy uh, hog hunting with that uh, 300 block out. Uh, we whack them and stack them. <laughs> so it's good on coyotes and it's good on, uh, good on uh, the hogs, and uh, it, it's good on deer also with the uh, higher velocity, uh, the supersonic round. You want to hunt deer with the subsonic round. So, anyway, uh, this is it. Uh, Black Rifle, uh, be right back. Okay, this is Black Rifle back. Uh, we uh, going to mount the, uh, the scope uh, to the rail. It's very easy to mount. As you can see, I have my iron sights on here and it backs right up to my iron sight and then you just close your close your quick detach lever see nice and secure you can't beat it i really enjoy the uh the leatherwood product i was first introduced to it in the united states army while serving my country uh retired uh, infantryman uh, paratrooper Combat infantryman, combat paratrooper, uh, served as a sniper, graduated sniper school in the uh, 70s. Uh, this is a great uh, scope. Uh, Jim Leatherwood was ahead of his time uh, in Vietnam. He, uh, he invented the uh, Leatherwood series scope. I think maybe Le uh, Redfield made the first one called the Art One. I'm not sure uh, if it was uh, uh, Redwood or not, but the first one was the Art One. It had Stadia dots in it, and it was set up for the 308 caliber, and uh, it, it uh, was an auto-ranging telescope called the Art Auto-Ranging Telescope. Uh, just one wonderful scope. You just uh, measure your target from the waist to the head, put, it up, put the line at the top and the line at the bottom on the, on the waist and the line at the top on the head and you, you knew the range. And then you just send your round down range, 173 grain, boat tail bullet match 118 uh, was, the, uh, was the round back in the 70s. So I don't know what they're using now. Then we graduated from the XM21 to the M21. It became the M21 from XM21. It was designated a sniper's rifle. And uh, uh, we went then from the automatic, uh, which was a mistake, to the bolt rifle, uh, the M24. 
What was nice about the automatic is if you missed, and snipers do miss, uh, you know, Murphy's Law is there. And uh, you could follow up with that second shot when using a semi-automatic. Uh, they come out with the M110, which I was glad to see. The uh, it's like an AR-10 by Knight's Armament and uh, and 308, and that's a fantastic little rifle setup. And it's uh, suppressed, so they got a suppressor comes in the kit. But uh, I tell you, you hunt with a suppressor, and they're not silent. Uh, news media and the uh, Hollywood, uh, they act like uh, you don't hear that round, but uh, you hear it, just not as loud. Uh, but anyway, off the soapbox there, and let's get back to the rifle. Well, anyway, uh, if you get out there and you, you do some hog hunting, post your video, you know, make a video of your hog hunt. Make a video of your, uh, of your uh, rifle. Post it on the YouTube. You'd like to, we'd like to see it. Anyway, uh, sportsmansguide.com. You can't beat it. They got some good deals. You know, some of it's, uh, some of it's uh, not so good, and some of it's really outstanding. You know, it just depends on what you buy. Do a little online research before you buy, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I enjoy the hunting hobby and the shooting hobby. The reloading and uh, you know the 300 blackout that's a nice cartridge uh, a lot of people put it down my rifle is a Palmetto State Armory uh, 16 inch uh, barrel in the 300 blackout and with this scope set up uh, actually this is a little more scope than I needed uh, probably a straight six power would have worked but uh, I wanted a, a variable scope so I could uh, see see them hogs coming from a long ways away, you know, uh, see where they are, scan the fields. Here in South Carolina, they do a lot of damage to crops, especially melon fields, peanut fields. Uh, they'll, they'll tear up a bean field uh, just rooting around and uh, just destroy everything. And they breed like rats. Uh, there's a blue million of them down here in South Carolina. We don't have a season on them. So you can hunt them all year round. I've killed hogs with a 22 long rifle. I've killed hogs with a 17 caliber rim fire. <laughs> I've killed hogs with a spear. Um, just depends. You can come down here and uh, bring your dogs, bring your hounds, and, and hunt the hogs with uh, with a spear some guys hunt them with like a long uh, a long uh, like sword uh, type buoy knife you know so they just have that some use the uh, cold steel spear and uh, uh, hogs uh, will be captured by the dogs they send in a, a, a bulldog or uh, or a uh, rottweiler uh, one of the big or a big mastiff uh, to hold the uh, hog and while they're holding the hog and the dog's got that hog busy you just poke him with the spear and he's a dead dead hog so you know, you'll enjoy it well I enjoyed uh, this video this little tabletop discussion this morning I hope you have a nice day I wish you the best and for those paratroopers out there all the way brothers all the way Bye-bye.